it. I gotta close out this segment, and I thought I should do it from my Jeep. I just dropped off to football, and I've shared so many reasons why we have a better way. So I'm talking to all my entrepreneurs out there. Hi, Christy. I got disgusting Jeep hair today. It's like... Hi, Sean, I hope you're feeling better. Hey guys, so if any of this is valuable to you or someone you know has been skeptical or has been thinking about network marketing, please feel free to share or tag. And if you watch the replay, can you give me a number two so I know where everybody comes from? And feel free to invite your friends because we have some Jeep talk. I'll be quick today, five minutes. I shouldn't have said that. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Ida. Uh, all right, what did I share so far? Why we have a better way. A business model I did not even know I was joining. Oh God, people are cringing right now. Um, potential upside, startup cost is so low. The leverage, ability to leverage, your income with a team, the product being developed for you, the support, the flexibility, what else? Um, is that seven? Is that seven? Number eight. The last one. Safety net. Hi, Linda. Hi, Amy. The safety net involved in network marketing is huge because I'm not a huge risk taker. I'm pretty conservative, especially with money. Anybody else? So there's something flying around my Jeep. So if I flip out, you'll know why. Okay, so say you start your own business, traditional um, business. What if it doesn't work out? Happens a lot. What if it doesn't work out? What are you gonna do? Say a year into it, it's just not working out. Are you gonna ask the world for your money back? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Um, but in network marketing, there's a huge uh, safety net. First of all, the startup cost is so low you're probably gonna be okay. And like 90% of businesses will give you your money back, of network marketing companies will give you your money back. Um, and, if, and if there's not necessarily money back, chances are you just got to use their product. So for example, with my business, let's say you're like, this is the worst thing I ever did, I hate it, you lied. This never happens, but let's say it did. This was the worst thing I've ever done I always say the worst thing that happened is you got a little healthier. You did a program, you drank a meal replacement with 70 ingredients, 40 superfoods that made you feel amazing. Worst case scenario, traditional business and people go bankrupt. That's the truth. Um, so that's a really good one, I think. That made me feel better. Like, I, what do I have to lose? So I think that that's pretty significant. Um, so besides the support created, the flexibility, you're not like selling your soul. It's not like you have to sign a contract and then go to court and you know, you just like say, I'm, I'm done, I'm out. So like, why not try it? If that's the, like, the worst thing that's gonna happen, just try it. Hello, Trish. What's up, girl? What's up? Oh, um, so anyway, you chalk it up to, well, I tried it. You know, it didn't work out. I gave it a shot. Um, and that's why even if you've tried one in the past and it didn't work out, it could just be. Think about why it didn't work out. Was it the business model or was it the product? 90% of the time, it's the product. It has to be the right product. It has to be something you believe in. You know how many times I talk to someone and they're like, listen, I loved everything about it, but I can only wear so much, and I'm, I don't wanna knock anything, so I'm not gonna use a, like a, I mean, I can only use so many bags. 
I can only use so much lipstick. But something that goes into your body or that promotes better health. So it just depends. It could just be that it was the wrong, wrong product, right? Um, hi guys. Thanks for popping on. If you do, touch the screen so I see you because I swear after the eclipse I'm blind because <laughs> I don't follow directions and I didn't get glasses. So really, where are you going to get a deal like that? Um, and so if you thought about being an entrepreneur, where else can you flex your muscles? Uh, you know, no pun intended, but where else can you flex your muscles and say, I feel like I want to try it? Well, try it with network marketing because the the downside, there really isn't one. So instead of, you know, um, losing, losing who knows what over it, try something that has little risk and see if it's for you. Um, does everyone win? No, of course not. I mean, I've had people quit. People quit all the time. Um, you know, but those who are open to growing, developing, um, being coachable, um, they win big time. So you have to be that person, right? You have to be that person that's open to change and develop and learning and growing. And you have to be a student. You have to, like, guys, I told you in one of my other videos, which by the way, if you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. My last four videos share with you the other seven reasons why we have a better way. So after this video, the next, the last one should play. Um, I need that hot tub again. So just go back and watch because I'm just talking about number eight today. Um, so it's just the benefits of a traditional business without the risk. Hi guys. Hi T. Hi Vanessa. So guys, don't feel bad. I want to say this to any, all right, I want to talk right now. I'm going to close out, but I want to say this to anybody right now who is in network marketing is in multi-level marketing. Okay. I'm talking to you and also those maybe considering jumping in, but mostly I'm talking to those that are in it right now. Guys, um, don't feel bad. Do not apologize for being part of something that's better. Don't apologize for being part of something that people don't understand. Um, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit dream, go for it. Do not worry what people say about you. Honest to God, they do not pay your bills. La last time I checked, I paid my bills. I don't know about you guys, but I pay my own bills. And I know five years ago, there was way too much month at the end of my money. <laughs> I'm like, shit, when is payday? So don't apologize for being part of something that pushes you to be uncomfortable because it makes other people uncomfortable. Okay? I just wanted to say that. And if you're a skeptic, here's my case. This video and the last four. Can you beat it? Can you show me another entrepreneurial venture that gives all of that? I bet you can't. And if you think you can, I'd say take another look at it because we have a better way. Jeep talk. We have a better way. For watching so I'm off I did my drop off I hope you guys have an awesome Tuesday I don't know let me know what else you want to hear questions private message or put them here hey my cover photo you see it there's a link to a private group I'm going to share my whole story and share with you how you can join an amazing opportunity okay see you guys soon